Like, I, I think the best way to make money is just farming, right? I've been putting it to the side since I had so many social interactions I needed to do. How many carrot seeds do I have? I have 29. Making the carrot patch. We're gonna tidy up the farm a little bit. Like, have separate patches for the separate foods. Maybe have the farm just, you know, a little better looking. A little cleaner. A little less willy and or nilly. Friday night. I wonder if my wife is out there drinking with the pirates. Or do they not show up until Saturday? Either way, being pregnant and drinking with smallpox ridden pirates feels like not the safest thing. get toxoplasmosis or maybe that only comes from cat poop hello dog there's gotta be other ways to get toxoplasmosis right Let's see, and we have another tree, right? Boop, boop, boop. Night farming. Farm's gonna look so nice when it's done. Get these weeds out of here. Yeah, I've got lots of wood. Maybe we should make some fenced areas? Really pretty up the place. our farm look like a farm. Alright, what else we got? One pumpkin seed. And 20 carrots. Wait, weren't these all carrots? Either way, with exactly one pumpkin seed. Can go ahead and throw it in there. Just for the balance. Boop. Twenty carrots. I think that's five, so that means you get. A little five by four plot over here.
That's right, I can still do simple math. I've been watching like streamer quiz shows recently and it actually kind of surprises me like how widely ranged the population is the population of streamers really or like some of them can't do like you know five times four and some can do like all sorts of complex uh Trying to think polynomials? Polynomials really don't get all that complex. But it's still, it would take me a while. I'm way out of practice with like basic basic math things like uh, multiplying like four-digit numbers by four-digit numbers. Like, it just never comes up in real life. And if it... Oh, exactly one drop short. I think this is going to be the most frustrating farm ever. If this is the trend. Oof, I'm so tired. Looking miserable. Hang in there, buddy. Oh man, I really got rid of all the fruit? Anything to pickle? Give me a pickled chestnut. No? Okay, uh, give me nothing. I'll come back with fruit. But before we go to sleep, let us not die. 1916. Nom nom nom. these expire? Of course they expire. But nobody wants to buy acorns. Or meadow sweets. Let's organize our inventory a little better. Hello, puppy. I don't think we saw our wife last night. Eh, she is her own person. Let her live her own life. As long as she's making me babies. Really not something I can do on my own. Got a dislike last stream. I wonder if somebody took it seriously when I said like, Oh great, now that we're married, it's important to change all the things you don't like about your wife. I mean, that's obviously a, a painfully bad message. but it felt good when I was saying it. I 
I get many onion seeds out of these. May I get two? Boop. Boop. Are my little baby trees? Maybe it's time to build a well? What does it take to build a well? Not much. Give me stone. Give me wood. Oh. And while we're here, pickled onions. Pickled onions taste real good in real life. Like in my old age, I'm getting really into onions. Like I just, I don't get it. They're, they're kind of magical, you know? They make a lot of foods taste really, really good. Alright, let's put the well right here in the middle of everything. Like, I use onion powder on basically all of my meats in real life. Like, it seems like the most important ingredient in, like, pork rubs. I also like to use it for beef. Speaking of which, I could go for, like, a large hunk of pork right about now it's been a while like traditionally that's that's our christmas dinner is i take a giant pork butt which is the shoulder of of the pig and i slow cook that at like two degrees for a hundred years And then at the last five seconds, I, I crank it up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. And then I, uh, I basically just burst it into flames. So the outside of the pork turns into basically bacon. Which, I don't know if you're familiar, but bacon is delicious. And the inside is just like super gooey. Like if the inside of the pork has a bone, it just like you you put it on like a serving plate and it, the bone just like slides out naturally. Like you don't even have to pull on it. It's just like the force of dropping it, putting it on the serving plate. Makes the bone, like, slide out of it. Like it was in jello or something. Not that my jello has a lot of bones. Maybe it does. Are you judging my jellos? Someone said something about shaking these. I don't think you can shake them. I think you have to destroy them. Alright, let's go repair our things. We have one golden crop to drop off. Wait. Yeah.
Grab some fruit. You can't shake those ones. There's ones around town. But like these? Maybe these? Oh! And they've got leaves too. I'd make a tiger pit. What is that? This actually looks familiar. Mugwort. Teas and potions. Interesting. Here, I need to sell junk. Uh, here, have some jelly. And I guess some onions. Anything else? Until next time. Nice. I'd never tried to like shake those those before. Can you shake this one? Yeah. Nom nom nom. There were so many quests early on that were like, find me sticks. I never knew how to get those. You want six fish. You'll give me a pork roast recipe. Actually kind of want to do that. But do cods even exist this time of year? Oh, you'll straight up give me a scythe if I give you thread. But I don't know how to give you thread. I think I have to load up spiders into a spinning wheel. The kids had a good business going, selling you all the sticks you needed. Classic kids. Ladies, are you home? Thank you. I need you to fix... I think we're going to need the scythe faster than anything. Have some mugwort and some dried fruit. No, no steel, huh? We'll take your nails. I always need nails, and I probably need these too. Anything else? No, we're good. We're good. I think I have one onion to donate. Oh god. Well, looks like smallpox is back in town. Uh, is the doctor home? I need to get inoculated. Wait, we're all gonna die. Doctor, doctor, save me. There's a zombie in the town square. 5 p.m. Closed on Saturdays and Sundays. Oh, God. We're gonna die. Are you a doctor? No, you're... You're some kind of fish man. You're the butcher. What do we do? My, my wife works in the tavern where these smallpox people are going to go. Things aren't looking good. Maybe if she gets smallpox while pregnant, the kid will come out immune. Any sticks in here? No? What do you need sticks for anyway? Are they necessary for like fences? They like the old school waddle and daub fences. Ch -ch -ch -ch. 
Back down to limbo. Limbo really is a cool place. Temperance! How you been? Goodness, aren't you just full of life? You want pickled meat. You'll give me a requesting rain blueprint? Meat? Is that all good? Oh, Temperance. Seem a bit more lively than the people I usually talk to. You want wool. No one's asked me for anything I can actually provide in like quite a while. Gold star animal products. I guess I should get an animal sooner rather than later. Wait, I can complete a quest? What do I have that's quest worthy? Got toys and leaves. You wanted something? Where's the Chavez? Not you. Was it you? Good to know I can count on you. What did I give you? Maybe sticks? All right then. Uh, maybe I can catch the doctor. It's 9 p.m. though. 